Okay, so I just loaded up uh, the game and we're in the asset importer, uh, the new asset here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click building and we're going to test this asset out and double check all of our, our, all of our details that we kind of did with the textures. So like I did in the other one, we're just going to click a random asset and um, for testing purposes, I don't really care what it is. So we're going to do the French garden again. All right, so here's kind of our asset with a few of the details we've added. Uh, can't really tell here that well, but you can kind of look and, and see the windows reflective, and that's kind of cool. Kind of makes the building look a lot better now. So I'm going to position this here, and before we kind of move ahead, like I said, I think this is kind of the way that the thumbnail defaults at. And on this go around, let's go ahead and actually add all of the props and stuff that we want so we can actually test this in the game. Um, load this as a park or something so we can just plot this in game and kind of check it out. So let's see here. We've got kind of like a garage. So one thing I want to do is, like I said earlier, I'm going to cover up the, that little splotch right here in the middle. I don't even know if it's that kind of uh, noticeable at this point, but I think it will be eventually. So I kind of want to make it look like it's, I don't know, kind of like an exhaust thing maybe, or put some vents and stuff around this and kind of make it look like it's a AC unit or something. I don't know. And then I know there's these little kind of building things like this we can kind of throw up here on top. Cool. Maybe put a couple skylights as well. I don't know. Just kind of dress this building up a little bit. I think maybe on the outside we can throw in uh, some garbage cans or something. Maybe like a dumpster. And yeah, we'll put a couple dumpsters right there throw their shit away. Maybe over here we'll put garbage cans. I kind of like how those ledges though, that kind of made, uh, this is kind of weird, but I kind of do like how those, those kind of enhance that building a little bit, relatively at cheap expense. Now, I don't know why this is doing this. I don't I don't like this whatsoever. I, I have a feeling it's our shader, the smooth shading that we did, and the, kind of the way that the sunlight's hitting it. Um, if we move the light here, yeah, it looks like it's just the sunlight. So, smooth shading kind of did a number on that. I don't know if that was the best idea, but I kind of like it, but I don't know. Anyways, I think we're going to call this uh, this kind of good for this example. Um, one thing is, let's check the night lights. Actually, that's one thing we didn't do. And from my experience, the random lights will take a second to regenerate, but it is good to see that the door light is on. That is on. The door lights are on, and it looks like the garage lights have turned on somewhat. Now, I don't know if there's some some artifacts going on there at the bottom There's something going on there but for whatever reason the um, the random lights I've, I've I can I think they're kinda of turning on on this side yeah here we go they're kinda of turning on but for whatever reason they take a while just to kinda of flip on I mean you can kinda of see them start to turn on here but for whatever reason they take a while to flip on but uh yeah there we go night lights we got the door lit bright, office in there, whoever's working in there, just going to town, so sending out invoices. And I really like these normal maps on the top, though. That kind of kind of made my day. That worked out pretty good for me. I like that. This crease was unintentional, but that kind of worked out somehow. Um, it almost looks like part of the building there, so whatever I did, I don't know. Now some of you might look at that and look at it and say that looks stupid, but I don't know. I think it looks kind of part of the, the construction of the building. I guess I could play off of that and enhance that or even fix it back in the normal maps by making that kind of a more equal coloring like these. Um, so anyways, here we go. We've got our lights kind of up and fully running. Now notice that 
these are slightly different uh, different lit so start building guys here we go take a screenshot of this a couple screenshots here you know what I don't know if it's gonna be worth the footage time to actually throw this in game I think I'm gonna call the video as this uh, you can figure out how to actually do all of these different um, you know different pieces here uh, I know that's one of the last requests for number 11 for this guy that wanted to um, have me do this video but I honestly at this point uh, just don't think it's worth uh, loading everything up in footage time and I think you kinda get the gist so um, yeah, this piece right here in the middle, that could have been kind of fixed up. I, I don't know. It looks weird. I don't know if that looks lit. I don't know. It looks okay. But yeah, let's check out the lot, I guess. So I don't know if this is an asset editor bug. Maybe we will actually uh, check this out in game because of that reason. Huh. I've seen that happen in the asset editor. Uh, if there's no LOD IMAP, which I did not create yet, so we might have to make a LOD underscore IMAP for this. We shall see. Anyways, so I can sit here and scroll around this building all day long. It's kind of cool, you know, when you make something like this. So, anyways, um, turn back the light. Yeah, it's kind of weird how it washes it out, but let's go out of here. Let's save this map. So we're going to leave it as a 3x4. This is going to be a, like I said, kind of like a park. I don't know. Maybe we can, no, no pathways. So um, we want this to be, I don't want to use any color variations. Let's flatten the terrain. Let's say this uses like one electricity. Uh, the construction cost on this thing is going to be 500 bucks. We're going to leave that alone. Maintenance cost, let's put this at um, 100 bucks. This gets no tourists. Let's say it uses one water, one sewage. Let's say it accumulates at 105. 1000 radius so in the material button if you did color variation options and you actually added a color map that's what uh, these these will do here now these pieces right here underneath if you have a skyscraper or other building when I was saying when I was actually modeling the ground offset first other height that actually counts for the floor heights here so that it does the specular maps correctly so since we don't really have to I don't think it actually messed with anything. This fuck, this damn asset editor washes everything out. I can't even tell. So, to be honest with you, we're gonna have to just check it out in game. Uh, yeah, I don't think the four heights really messed with anything here. So, anyways, that's what that kind of does. Uh, there's some, if you Google search, there's some things on that uh, on this piece. I think the devs actually did a Reddit thing on on what these all mean. So you can actually, I'm gonna leave them alone because it didn't even affect my building. Uh, but anyways, let's go and save this asset. At this point, this is where you do all your funky, you know, add in, kind of add in your different um, thumbnails by pressing this and th these buttons here. You open up new m menu options and you can get pretty crazy. Um, you can actually add different pictures and do all kinds of cool stuff. But for this one, let's go back into the asset editor and actually make um, a better screenshot here just for just for this purpose here and we're going to change the lighting because this lighting is just, uh, it's just terrible let's do something like this um, I think this is the be one of the better shots of this building here and so we'll click on screenshot button I thought it's supposed to change but Maybe not. And yeah, for whatever reason, it's blacking these out, which I don't know why. It might be the shading groups again kind of messing that up. So we'll just do the front. 
I don't know what's going on there. It could be the darkness, maybe. I don't know. Let's try another view here. See what happens. Yeah, it still wants to do that. It could be the normal. I have no idea why it's doing that. So this acid editor can be funky sometimes. Could be we're too zoomed in too close, who knows? Alright, so let's save this sucker. Uh, let's use that and we'll call this. Just make some kind of weird um, whatever you know phrases that you want here. So I'm actually going to use the thumbnail that or I like the original one that we took in the asset editor. And I'm going to use that. We're going to call this asset uh, the same here, and this is what's going to be uploaded to the workshop. So this is what you're going to want to name your asset for all time. Um, once it's uploaded to the workshop under this name, I believe it has to stay under this name. But you can always upload this, this named asset with different CRP files that will eventually be different stuff. So anyways, that's another another time. Save the asset. And we're going to go back uh, to the main menu here and see if my menu option will actually work. <clears throat> All right, so... I've uh, started a new game in the asset editor and I've got basically this stripped down to um, bare bones and I don't have a lot going on with the with my graphics and all my other mods but I did encounter um, just while I was off camera or off uh, screenshot here trying to uh, locate this mod and I don't know for whatever reason it's not showing up in the parks menu. Um, now I use the French garden template and I, I want to say I don't know there might be something to do with that because if I actually go and use the um, search mod here and search for my building I can find it so it's either due to the template or something to do with the game it just doesn't like this uh, for whatever reason so I don't know this is just the weirdest thing I've never encountered that before so I'm going to play some of this building here and I've turned on the mod, the, the stock mod in the game that allows you to uh, have unlimited money and all that. I'm just going to place a bunch of these so that we can kind of hardly see them. I don't know, it's kind of a cool building actually. Um, it looks kind of neat. I think this uh, could have a lot of uses in the game actually. Um, it almost looks kind of like a, in a factory setting or something like that. So. This is kind of the uh, the end result. This is the the asset in game. So, like I said, there's a lot of things. I mean, there's a ton of stuff we can do to uh, fix this. Um, one thing I'm noticing is on the roof here. I mean, we're extremely washed out. Um, we could darken that up big time. The normal mapping on this wall is completely. Um, I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> In my opinion, that could be fixed completely. I mean, at a distance when you don't really see light on it, the bricking and the texture doesn't look bad, but when you get kind of close to this thing, the right light, it kind of looks bad. So, and even on our normal mapping on the windows, um, you can kind of tell that's kind of poop right there, but you know, from a distance, it doesn't look bad. Um, most people aren't going to be, you know, really close up to these buildings all the time, but. You know, again, a kind of perfectionist in me just kind of wants to be more clean with those things and make them better. I mean, there's a lot of things. Um, there's areas right here that just look real, you know, real easy to fix, I think. Um, just a little more closer to detail, attention to detail, and a little more uh, effort. But for the quick run through that we did, I think it's not bad. So anyways, the LOD uh, also did not did not load up, and I, I, I kind of don't know why. I think there might be something again going on with the LOD maybe that's causing this uh, to be kind of weird, but 
Outside of that, the, the asset's looking good, and um, if you follow all the steps, you should be able to get through and uh, get your asset loaded up. So, all in all, uh, uh, I hope this was a pretty informative video series, and um, that's about all I got. So, I'll probably add uh, maybe another video here after I watch everything and add any corrections or anything else that I might have. Outside of that, go ahead and watch this get into the night mode and kind of end this out. I don't know if the lights are going to turn on right away, but we'll see. You can see the street lamp already turned on. Okay, so they're, see, they kind of fade on randomly here. Or as night goes on, they kind of turn on brighter. It's kind of weird. Should just kind of turn on in a way. Kind of a cool scene at night, I guess. Yeah, see those normal maps. I mean, there's something going on there. I mean, it looks looks just look really crummy, I guess, in a certain respect. But anyway, so let's check out actually the lot here if it. does that weird thing in the asset editor so far I think we're good yeah it doesn't do that light on fire or firefly type thing so to be honest in night mode the lot is, very, is unnoticeable actually so that's kind of cool Yeah, that's kind of, uh, again, that's kind of the gist of this thing, man. Um, you know what? Are these lights even on? There's no power to these buildings, so... I could just be tripping. Maybe the lights aren't on. Let's, uh... Let's get some power going on real quick and see if this, uh, changes anything. Ah, yes, so the lights did not come on because there was no power, and now it's dawn again, so just missed out on it. Anyways, I don't have my time mod uh, set up, so I can't really adjust this here. Alright, well that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, the, this series and learned a few things and I hope this helps you guys put some quality assets and the key here is to practice and practice and practice. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.